have time to present on the air. And remember, as a thank you gift, when you make any contribution toward Tony's ministry, we'll send you this 10 message CD collection plus the 52 week gallons. Kingdom there Family Devotional nine I told you about gallons. earlier. Make a point of visiting us today at TonyEvans.org <coughs> to make the arrangements before time runs out. Again, that's TonyEvans.org. Well, or you can call the 24 nine. hour resource center at well, 1-800-822-22. And let one of our team uh, members help you. Well, 22 Again, times 800, 8 800 3222 the do-it-yourself mentality 20, may come in uh, handy around the home. So but tomorrow, Dr. Four Evans will explain how self-sufficiency three, can be deadly four, when it comes to breaking the spiritual curses in our lives. Be sure to join us to find out more. So, uh, yep. Eight the Alternative be, uh, with Dr. Tony Evans uh, is brought to you by the eight, Urban Alternative. Uh, it's made possible by the oh, generous contributions the of listeners like you. It would, it would be close. It would be close. It would be close. Uh, I think yours is 24. I think it's a 24, 25 gallon tank. Uh, Jamie Jamie. Uh, it's just key. Yeah. 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 I think it's 24, 25. Just like right around in there. Once a month, we'll send out interviews with programs. Yeah, so it's a little bigger than this one. Programs. It's a little bigger than this one. articles on how to live out your faith. Speaking of spotlights on new programs, there's a yeah, brand new... Yeah, it was doing like 24 miles to the gallon, which for a minivan, that's this pretty darn good, but... Read my interview with co-host Steve Moore. Minivan, some minivans are kind of heavy. Tornadoes are prevalent. He's so, learned the difference between a watch and a warning. Steve talks about storms that can threaten our finances. <coughs> and you can keep the warning signs when it comes to money. Again, Steve and his co-host Rob West can be heard on Money Wise Live. Read more about it in this month's Uplift. Sign up to receive Uplift, delivered straight to your inbox. You'll get exclusive stories, helpful articles, and updates on what's happening at Moody Radio. Here's how. Sign up at the very bottom of our homepage at moodyradio.org slash northwest. That is the camera, yes. Oh, almost square ended that Cadillac. Oh, that would have been disastrous. At the back end of that cattle. He saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, because he was before me. That's John 1 29 through 30, the Moody Bible Institute verse of the I don't want to get hit though. Or, uh... That's our news on eight figures in Washington as President Trump considers potential U.S. military action in Syria. The potential for a confrontation with the regime's biggest backer is at stake. Russia's U.N. ambassador says the top priority now is avoiding war in Syria, but he's not ruling out the possibility of a U.S.-Russian conflict. That had Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard's attention as Pentagon Chief Jim Mattis was on Capitol Hill. Can you justify for the American people how going to war with Russia over Syria serves the interests of the American people? Mattis said he couldn't answer. I'm not uh, ready to speculate that that would happen. President Trump tweeted yesterday, Russia should get ready because missiles will be coming to Syria. Sagar Magani at the White House. Mike Pompeo, President Trump's choice to replace Rex Tillerson as Secretary of State, told lawmakers on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee today that he's no hawk. The story is I'm a hawk, I'm a hardliner. Or, you know, I, I read that and that there's no one, as you just heard in what I described, there's no one like someone who served in uniform. Who understands the value of diplomacy and the terror and tragedy that is war. Like someone who served in uniform, it's the last resort. It must always be so. Pompeo also says he's committed to upholding the law that forbids the U.S. from waterboarding de detainees. President Trump says the Republican-approved tax cuts have spurred job growth across the country, especially in manufacturing. According to the latest survey by the National Association of Manufacturers, projected... Job growth for American manufacturing has just reached a new all-time